Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the grooming gang reports. And I do believe that we have rock, rock, rock politics and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Now, as you're probably aware, the Telford Grooming Gang report has just been published and they're using the same old excuse, aren't they, everyone, of all of the other Grooming Gang cities and, and towns, and that is they were scared of being branded racist. Well, Patrick Christie on GB News had a guest on that was actually the one of the solicitors for the Rotherham girls, so did a good job once they could get them into actual court, this man. And he said something that we've all suspected, but no one else is speaking about, so we'll, we'll have a quick listen to what he says, shall we? Reading here now, and I think this is an important one for a lot of our viewers as well, our listeners on radio or online viewers. I'm just quoting now. A great deal of evidence that there was a nervousness about race in Telford and Wellington in particular, bordering on a reluctance to investigate crimes committed by what was described as, quote, the Asian community. Um, I mean, how does that make you feel? Because it would appear then to someone, an outsider like me, that maybe the police prioritise being considered not racist, as opposed to actually doing their job. It's a curious one, isn't it? Um, the police officers that I've ever met um, looking at crimes see them just as crimes uh, for the issue of race and not offending the Asian community in that area um, coming into the mix um, is really curious. I know that from experience in Rotherham, it was said that um, the council leaders didn't want to put too much effort into uh, prosecuting the individuals because uh, the, the Labour uh, controlled council there uh, relied on the Asian community for its vote. So that was the dynamic that was happening there. Uh, the the Labour uh, controlled council there uh, relied on the Asian community for its vote. I'm not sure what, I, I haven't read the full report, so I'm not no, sure that's whether fine. that's an issue with Telford, um, or whether it was sheer uh, political correctness gone mad yeah. uh, with the council and, and officers. Uh, but my experience is that police officers just like to prosecute crimes. And if they see it, they should be prosecuting it. What, one more very quick. And there you have it. That's that's the main reason, in my honest opinion. It's got nothing to do with the excuse they're giving us now, i.e. PC political correctness. It's got nothing to do with the fear of being called racist. It's got nothing to do with that whatsoever. It's got everything to do with the fact that the councils are all Labour run and they rely on the votes. So effectively, Christie's wrong. This gentleman is right, in my honest opinion. And the only reason our girls are thrown under the bus by everybody that should be protecting them from things like this is because of voting and they rely on them to vote them into office absolutely shocking it's even more shocking in my honest opinion than thinking it was going to make you seem racist let me know what you think though i'd like to know your opinion on this has he actually mentioned the elephant in the room or do you think it is what patrick christie's saying and it's just because they were scared of being called names i think it's probably the former rather than the latter let me know what you think stay safe See you on the next one.